Guys, we got a lot of people coming on the show today. It's going to be a hectic one. So I want to get this first sponsor out of the way here. If you're like me and Mike, then you definitely want to make sure you're operating at peak performance in the bedroom. Whether you're having trouble rising to the occasion, keeping it going, or you just have a very demanding significant other, you can count on Roman to help. From what I understand about Roman is they make a couple great product offerings that require absolutely no prescription, no doctor's visits, no waiting in long lines. You simply go online, you fill out their questionnaire, and one of their doctors takes care of you, you get a prescription, and you don't have to wait at the pharmacy. And there's nothing wrong with it. You know, you're what, 47 years old and your thing's still working so-so? Uh, well, 37, but, and the thing's not working Missed at all. Missed one number there. It's okay. Yeah. It wasn't yep. far off. When you go to GetRoman.com slash Jeff, a U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan and medication. And if medication is appropriate, Roman will ship it to you for free. Fucking free. news to me. <laughs> <laughs> the whole process is straightforward, discreet, and will make sure you're performing at your best. Get Roman ready at Get roman.com slash jeff will get $15 off your first month of ED treatment plus free two-day shipping. Take advantage of this special discount with $15 off your first month of treatment. Back on with the show. They'll actually that. let you use that that uh, ad. That was tra- a terrible I'm not the ad. best reader, bro, but if you want to get up and fucking bare knuckle spa right now, I want no such that. That's what we call a confession. You know what? I'm dropping the <laughs> tough guy <laughs> shtick today. <laughs> no more tough guy shtick. <laughs> I'm at a, a low point in life. I lost my best friend, Jason Nash, and the only old funny guy that I can relate to that I have in my f- f- contacts that's good on podcasts is you so i just thought you know let me hit him up even though i got a special guest tana mojo coming on later that she ain't coming let's be let's be honest so you think it's just gonna be you and i today tana god bless her great girl but she this woman wakes up for the day at 10 p.m all right let's get into the news what's going on with this putin guy huh fucking dude's out of, <laughs> dude's out of control, shut down bro. all the russian banks he's got the russians rushing to the atm talk about that joke for three you days. guys uh talk about a beef with ukraine I got a beef with a crane of my own. You I'm too busy. At, you are at war with a vet. Do we? Are, have Whoever you been, wants it, yeah. Well, go, go, I mean, go it off, just, round off the list. Well, I mean, God Almighty, dude, it looks like sponsors. Like I can't. I, I I'm. I got to be careful. I mean, I some of these people write me. Some of these people are very good. Dear friend of mine, it, they send people. me good money. They are responsible for a large chunk of my <laughs> annual income. So I, I got no beef with them. I got no beef with Jason. I love him. He was here earlier. And when is that going to potentially air? Uh, probably in like a week now. But we'll find out from Tana. She'll probably know more. I mean, what a wreck of a I actually, show. I'm curious to find out if they cut Tana's jokes. Too, oh, oh, that show is, I mean, that was a violent, uh, visceral show for anyone in the audience. And, and people out there in America should be, you know, kind of priming themselves up and c- getting ready to cringe a little bit because it was just You think just people are going to get canceled? I guess creators are starting to say, we don't we do not do canceled anymore. Let me we ask kinda, you, we're not, let, we're not, let, we don't want to do that, that was anymore. That was a, a, a select few on stage. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you were a sponsor, you had your own brand. Yeah. Would you sponsor that? Well, what's roast? the brand? I mean, is the brand. So you started a burger restaurant. You know, there were some jokes in that thing that were quite, quite risque, dude, to say the but very But nothing least. I said. Well. You trying to censor me, bro? Dude, the gambit was covered in that, in that roast. There was jokes about uh, homosexuality. There was jokes. There was racist jokes. There was yeah. jokes about SDs. There was jokes about... Uh, can I say some of the other ones? I said a couple Taliban jokes, jokes about I had Astro to, War, like I had to follow. Oh, those are too far. Yeah, too soon. Right, but yeah, I don't no, even. Can I, I, agree. I, mean, I Yeah, that's fine. The jokes were said by people that were cut. Can you believe that? But this time I went up there and I wrote a lot of the jokes myself. Ninety percent of my jokes were written by myself. On that same flight we were on, when I told you I was all excited, you saw my face. I was writing these jokes like I'm gonna fucking kill it, and then I read them to you, and you gave me no reaction whatsoever. But it's fine. Well, I went up there and murdered it anyway. No, you did. You crushed it. And by the way, like I was very impressed by uh, a number of people on that stage. There was probably eight or ten different people that roasted Bryce Hall during this the 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 entire event. Yeah. And I I told you that I thought that yours was very high up in the in the top, but I was very impressed. You're a tough critic. Of, of course I'm a tough critic. Who is I get the to best? hang out with incredibly funny Who fucking is the best? people, dude. I gotta say, dude, I two two stood out besides you, of course. Uh, Adam W. Okay. But get the bro- fuck off the show. When you watch this, you can tell by crowd reaction and just simply put by his performance. You know what's funny? Crowd reaction. They took my laughs and put them under his jokes. I swear on Bathroom Boys' lives, 
that they will be wow. dead next week. They took my reactions <laughs> no and way. gave it to them because when my set was cut, they were like, these are good reactions. Let's cut to the crowd when they're the laughing at these jokes. Off, <laughs> All right, bro. I got proof. I'll take I'll fight this shit to the death. All right, so so Adam W, you know, was was the bomb. But his joke his reactions Whoa. are my, my my jokes. Was the bomb? He Whoa, bombed? Mike. No, Whoa. no, 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 no. Like he crushed no, it. Oh, okay. his, his cousins did. That's one of the jokes they made me cut. Person number two, dude, in line. Is the is the guest that may not come to? I, not number, oh, she you know, was fire. Yeah, Tana yeah. crushed it. Now you know a lot of people see Tana, they think you know blonde hair, bleach blonde. You know, like you know OnlyFans girl. This girl, you know, probably can't be a, a comedian, can't make anybody. This girl crushed it. Simply being handed quality content, written material, is call it half the battle. Delivery is very important, and I, for one, was very impressed by Tana's delivery of that uh, of those jokes. I thought she did a very good job. She rolled perfectly with the laughter in the audience. Jeff, listen, as you said, I'm a very tough critic. I'm I the, mean, I'm it is what it is, bro. I read off. I, I, didn't even, the... I didn't even have a paper there. I, I forgot half my jokes because I went off the dome. Tana's here, our <laughs> lovely guest. She's beautiful. Hello. She is an entrepreneur. She just launched her new wine, Dizzy. I wish you could try it. I can't try it because I am a recovering alcoholic. You, once you're in recovery, you're in recovery for life. You're never recovered fully. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe one day I'll decide to go back on the dark side. No, yeah. I would love to taste it. Maybe I could just know. I could just have you spit some of it in my mouth what, and I'll just spit that's it out. Hot. That's honestly really, you could just like swig it around like a mouthwash. Does that count, Mike? Yeah, As a sponsor? Would you want to sponsor me? I don't care how you get it. No, no me? Should we I sponsor suck. I, know, I did step one and then, or t- whatever the next one is. you being someone's is. sponsor. No, I mean, I care deeply about people, but I'm in no, no. Be my sponsor. I would love to, Tana. You, I. You look like you so, need Tana, it. Put the, put Tana, put the head headphones. On. You so, need them. You're going to hear some stuff in the headphones that we want you to be in on. Listen, I before you came in today, just so you know, I, I've been. Is the part where I sing her praises going to be included? It fucking better be. Yeah, he said you were the best roaster, number one, and my feelings were hurt. But you know what? I agree because you are fire. The way you went up there, yeah. confident, I was no holding tripping. back. I was tripping. They cut out my funniest jokes. Sober, I feel like too. You. Sober. I was very sober. You did it sober. sober. I'm proud of you that you did it sober because everybody <laughs> else had to get wasted to do a roast. I felt like I just slur really easily. So I felt like I would be up there like, thank you, raise ha. I feel like two shots and I didn't want to do that. So you um, were pissed that they cut some of your jokes? We'll see. Um, you definitely you put some words in my mouth there, but it's it's already good clickbait. I see what you're doing now. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, you saw my reaction. I pulled the full Kanye yeah. and said, I ain't fucking happy. None of that shit in there. Take me completely out. You want to cut one joke, five jokes? I don't give a fuck. Take them all out. I'm no part of it anymore. It's giving Kanye for sure. I understand though. Your set was very um continuous and you know cutting in between a bunch of jokes like is it's kind of shitty. Like it's it sucks. Well, I didn't remember. I wasn't reading the paper. I was just going off top. I threw an eight mile bit in there, but I I didn't plan on doing it. All I remember that will stick with me for the rest of my life is that you said that (laughs) I no longer use dating apps. I just use the Citizen app to find the nearest (laughs) criminal. For my next book. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I was like, damn. Oh, I love you. I love that you can laugh at yourself like that. It, it really is cool. You're just a cool girl, and I'm happy to have you on the show today. Hi, pretty, pretty princess. I'm happy to be here. I did say also that uh, I was going to have sex with you for clout. And Did y'all and fuck? Did y'all fuck, actually? No, or no, no, no. We just did it for show. Oh really? Uh, Why? Whoa, whoa, was this? What stopped? What stopped you? We you know kissed. the thing about it is, he, oh, did you guys made out? But then I got AIDS from kissing. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he? Um, is he a good? Was he a good kisser? Uh, yeah. We had fun. Uh, really? Yeah. I think when the eyes don't work, we put more effort into the eyes. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Yeah, your other senses are heightened. Yeah, exactly. So my hearing's sharp. I could fucking hear what your friends are saying outside right now. I yeah. could kiss you from here if and I wanted to. Or watch it. Do you think Do you think that kissing is indicative of a uh, good bed bedroom demeanor? No. Really? I mean, you I don't guess think if so? you're a good kisser, that's a good thing, but you could still, like, suck. suck. in bed. I'm usually, Mike I'm usually, don't kiss. He just goes Mike straight, kiss. pops the Roman, he pops a Roman, gets rock hard, and goes straight into sex in a hotel room, that. and then he goes, oh, we gotta film an episode of this Impulsive, and the girl's like, it's 4 a.m. We're in Vegas. <laughs> He's like, fuck yeah, yeah, Logan wants to film right now, so we gotta get out of here. <laughs> get out. I'm a very nice, caring, and loving uh, hookup. I really am. I, I, I have a bunch of boxes. That That's I, shocking. I, re, I really am. Dude. Well, is it? would you be thoroughly shocked to know that I'm respectful and nice to women? Yes. <laughs> Do you, do you agree with that? No, I, I see you out, bro. I, you are I know. Kidding. I want to make sure that that 
is corrected. Do you really feel like that? No, I think you're a very respectful individual. Okay. But I could see you like saving kisses for like the girlfriend. Like I could see you nah, like being nah, a little I'm weird I'm about it. I'll make out immediately. But I don't think that's due to lack Imagine of respect. I could just see you being not the most intimate individual. That's so. So yeah. here's where I here's where I lose. Drop the ball every time. What one thing with me is I, I believe in being tra very transparent and honest right off the bat. So like yeah. I'm I, it's. There's something horrible about telling a girl like the first time right before you hook up, like, hey, I just want to let you know this isn't going to lead to end. Like, I'm never going to see about, you again. Do you talk, do that? So, so not in those words, <laughs> but like, but like, I'll beat around the bush. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, oh, honestly, man. like, I think, I think what causes a lot of animosity and hatred between <laughs> people in this culture is is girls or guys being under the uh, the belief that it's going somewhere. Well, yeah, no, it's bro, very better. respectful, bro. Yeah, I, I, hey, I agree hey, with it that. It was nice I mean, knowing I, you. Your Uber's downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> very, very fucking respectful. Whatever, it is I what it is. You could be worse. It's better to be honest than to not. But I mean, have you ever, like, I would walk out, no offense, like, I mean, I just like, if I was, if I was kind of into I a guy it, and he was I like, yo, man, this isn't going to lead to shit, but you could fuck me and then your Uber's here in 30, I'd be like, so I'll get a little, I'll get a, <laughs> Tana, you do this to men. Yeah, I do this. Maybe that's why it would offend me so much. No, but I'll get vulnerable on it for a second. It's not I don't say it in those words, but I try to uh present myself as an unsuitable bachelor. And that 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 generally makes them understand that I am an unsuitable bachelor. But by the way, like if they still want to have fun and or, you know, maybe we're on a little trip or maybe we're at we went to dinner or whatever, if they still want to have fun, like, dude, this is the city where that shit happens. It's not like people are How's super. How's your sex offended. life these days? Yeah, how's your sex life? <laughs> um, I've been really celibate. Nice. That's I've been killing it. Same. Not by choice. I think you know. It's just I don't know. I don't know. On the grind. Yeah, kind of, kind of living life. You. I swear. I feel like you don't ever believe me when I say that. I go through phases though. You know, where I'm like into the whole hookup LA culture and like people and shit, and then I'll just go through a phase where I'm like, let's get this money. I hate everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's just like kind of. You're in the money forward. phase right now. Yeah, I think so. All right, today's episode is sponsored by Doctor Squash. We love what you do, and we don't want you to change. Our collective success depends on you staying true to your personal brand and style. What works? I can't read. Can you do this? Yes, give it to me. Okay. You're I just, so fucking I just, That's I why I wanted to do it. Bro, I just had... Give me the I, fucking computer. I just had Jack. eye surgery, bro. I got blood coming out Ladies of my eye. Ladies and gentlemen, eye. Dr. Squatch has changed the way men approach hygiene by providing high-performing, natural, healthy products that make you feel like a man and smell like a champion. Dr. Squatch will take your shower game to the next level, allowing you to level up your soap and step up your scent. You choose your favorite line of soaps, hair care, deodorant, and more, so you never have another boring shower or routine again. Nice. All these soaps are made in the USA using the finest ingredients, the transparency of ingredients, everything's on the box. Feel free to compare it to the big soap label. See what you find over there with those motherfuckers. Well, well that this. wasn't in you the script. What? This is actually interesting right here. The soap? Gripper, gripper yeah. So, so you it's don't actually drop like it. all you, you said. Yeah, great. look at that. You just That's slapped great. it on there. You don't drop the soap anymore. This would have been a big help back when I was in prison. New customers can get 20% off on orders or twenty dollars or more if you use my code. What's my code? They didn't put it here. Use my code. We'll insert here. DSQ FM. And check the link in my description below. How's life been since you launched Dizzy? So great. So incredible. It's yeah. <laughs> Are you loving being an entrepreneur, owning a business? It's actually amazing. I mean, it, out of everything I've ever done, it's like my favorite thing. I love it. Did you I not send me a PR package because you know I don't drink? I honestly sent no one a PR package. Oh, that's, not pretty, one that's pretty dope. I'm about to do that soon. I just, I don't know. I didn't really. Don't need it. I didn't need it in that moment. I think over time to kind of keep the longevity of sales, of course, I'm going to do a PR moment. But we did the event too, where everyone kind of came and that was kind of the, where I got all the like tags and you know, celebrity promotion and whatever. Yeah, doing. I found out about it. Yeah, did you? Uh, yeah. Were you if there? I, if I ever decide to go back on the wagon or off the wagon, whatever it's called, I would, I would start I'm with the dizzy. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> if I ever decided to, I but that. I don't see coming anytime soon. Have you been drinking or are you sober right now, Mike? Oh. Mike's problem was never booze. <laughs> His problem was never anything he could buy in a store. I have to tread lightly because I make jokes to Mike sometimes, and he verbatim will be like, "That was way too fucking far." Well, so we were talking about it earlier. We're, and by That's the way, like, dude, piece. yes, it's a dark piece. I, it's like weird. It's like, have I? I don't know. It's like, have I become a pussy, or am I just looking out for like everybody else's well-being? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe it's just been through 
being a part of LP's camp and kind of just being involved in that like machine. Being a diehard Euphoria fan made yeah, you soft. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was saying? just going to say that. I feel like Euphoria really, I, but I like what you've been doing talking with about Euphoria it more online. And and mental health and yeah. substance and shit like that. Yeah, it's been good. Well, but I, I feel like it struck a chord with him. It really did. Well, that show, I mean, certainly did. I mean, I think I think the way they presented, you know, the, the horrors of addiction and, yeah, and, it's very and, realistic. and mental illness were, were wonderful. And Sam Levinson did a fucking great job with that show and all the actors and actresses involved in that show. Would you ever audition to be on it? I think I'm living a real life euphoria. Currently. Yeah. Did you see uh, Addison Ray posted just that she liked it and she would love to like audition for it? She yeah. So she much backlash and hate yeah. for nothing. I mean, really? she liked the yeah, show. I don't know. I, I don't know. Mike what would say like, yeah, I'd love to play like a fucking. I just want to see her do like something, and you know. Like, <laughs> like, you know I was Addison, trying to get you backlash. Sorry, that girl can't do. Help. That girl can't do anything without getting backlash. She I can't know. even take a fucking picture of her of of the car. With Trump, like fuck. No. What's the secret, <laughs> Tana? What's the secret to saying to getting so much fuck backlash? You to the backlash to. to how do you navigate that backlash? I, I mean, but the, also think about Addison Ray's life versus mine. Like, that bitch is making probably four times more money than me. So maybe it's better to not say fuck I mean, you to no, the backlash. Only like, fan. Mm. That OnlyFans still probably popping, right? Yeah. But I just mean, like, she's, you know, that multi million dollar Netflix deal's hitting. <laughs> Can we get a free subscription to OnlyFans? Can you hand one out to Everyone them? asks that. Like, I just carry around, like, a little pocketbook of, like, uh, Monopoly. Girl cards. sent me hers once. You do have an option to send a free month of OnlyFans subscription. Mm -hmm. as Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. Could, my, well, could my... we give Stephen one? He oh, has a big funny. crush on you. Come on, and of course. He talked about it. He was nervous to come <laughs> on the show today. I should absolutely gift him one. I mean, my main OnlyFans is not a subscription. It's just, just like open, photos. Right? Yes, but then I have a show on OnlyFans called Tanagon Wild that is a subscription every week. Whoa! But... I, I did not. It's you fine. fought? You I'm... fuck on there? No. No, bro. I didn't so fucking know, dude. Boy, for real, I would for have real. like a one and done sex tape, like a Pam and Tommy moment, but I would never like just like. Are you watching Pam and Tommy? I've been watching it. Such a good show, huh? Well, you know my obsession with just volatile, toxic love, and as much as it's like something that I need to refrain from loving so much, it's just ignited that again for me. Like, oh my god, I just want to like meet someone and get married in three fucking days in Mexico so bad, like right now. It's awful. Well, I let's know. get back to this. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, Pam shit, and you Tommy. Fucking click it changed my whole perspective, but changed my whole perspective on the whole situation because I thought they just put that sex tape out for clout. You know, you did. In the beginning, when oh. I was like a kid, I was yeah. I heard there was a sex tape. Yeah, you from were probably like of age to like. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay, the little age joke, little age is a mic. You want to step in on that? He's, I, bro, he's way younger than me. Anytime somebody else makes fun of somebody else's age, I just sit back and laugh <laughs> because finally it's not about me for five seconds. It's all good. It's okay. I'm still way younger than Mike. Um, That's hot. But yeah. <laughs> at the time, I thought these are just two celebrities looking for attention, and it, it turns out it was, that wasn't the case at all. Look at Pamela. Look at this woman who yeah. was trying to explain to Tommy, you look cool in this. I'm a woman. My yeah. life and, and dreams of being a credible, respected actress are yeah. ruined and tarnished by this. No, it's very sad. And the way the whole lawsuit kind of like went down the court case, it's very sad. Yeah, You want to make it's, a sex tape? Yeah. <laughs> I would make a sex tape with you, I think. And then we'll make a, a show about it 20 years from now about See, how it was fire. stolen from us. Um, okay, so we should have someone steal it from us. How about we get like David in on this and then that's the whole story. And then like, we take him steals. down. Another, <laughs> one, another one, another strike. That's strike three, buddy. Oh, was it, stole what, my sex tape. Oh, what, what else did you say at the roast? You're making fun of, I think it was Taylor Holder. You were like, another one bites every, the dust. Everyone, yeah, <laughs> except for the one I was supposed to, Bryce. I only had one joke for him, but whatever. Jason wants to do a roast of me i'm stoked you'd be great at it i think i'm ready for it would you roast me yeah of course i would love to be a part i won't of cut it. your jokes hell yeah well we'd have to you know i could see you roasting me well we'd probably I'm have to post it on your only i'm fans. definitely doing the next one i skipped i skipped the, that one just because i didn't realize how well put together it was me either i thought i was showing up to like someone's basement yeah. shit and so <laughs> yeah. me and george me and george both didn't do the first one and i think i think we should probably both be a part of the second yeah the george would one. crush yeah, yeah for sure george, george would crush. george would be great george would, george would be fucking great george now this guy on the other hand don't know don't know i never Who? seen him do a live show me no i just like how she you complimented see me george and not you but no, you see me doing live shows called BFFs. I sweat. Okay, no, you have your first live show this week coming up yeah. in, in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, live yeah, impulsive. Columbus, yeah. Is yeah. it Columbus, I want to come. Ohio? That sounds you so nervous? fire. This show, Jeff FM, is like a fun show, and so I, I hate diving into the topics. But honestly, like, uh, it's not even nervous. It's like, it's like just how long do you have to deal with that feeling for in your life of like that anxiety? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like Logan. Logan gets so perplexed by it. 
And a lot of people that don't suffer from the shit are p- yeah. perplexed by it because they just don't you understand it. But he, dizzy he tells me, yeah, yeah. he tells me, he goes, <laughs> so he's like, dude, substance, right? he's like, bro, I don't get it because you're literally a fantastic speaker. Like you're, but like, that's you, what makes you, you do so this great. shit. Is that you're like yeah, you're fighting through that? And like obviously you could have like a regular life and a regular job and have more structure and things that didn't scare you. But like some of the great things you're doing are coming out of doing what scares you. Yeah. I love it. You yeah, got to feel that fear. Otherwise, you know, it's not truly you. Like, if you go up there all fucking hopped up on, on whatever, you know, you're not going to be your true self. It's you're just, not going to react to the audience naturally. You're not going to – it's it's important you go up there sharp, sober, yet put on some of that fucking antiperspirant deodorant so you don't no, sweat your shirt. No, but it's just shirt. not even that. It's, it's just weird. It's just weird. It's like, you know, it's just frustrating. How, like, dude, like, how many – <laughs> is it, is it I would love a tiny or, violin sound effect. Is it frustrating? Right Are those leaves frustrating you from hitting you in the head? They've been battling my the back of my head the entire time. We're not looking for comfort over here. That's not our number one priority. I like we that you do what scares juice. you. This will be the only time that I didn't have a sad story ready, but it's fun. No, can you put it back on, please? It's just a live show, bro. No, I, no it, it stems from more than that. They don't expect can much. You, can I speak? <laughs> so it was fifth grade. Yeah. I was at Orange Avenue Elementary School in Milford. I have so many jokes I need to refrain from. <laughs> I was I was doing this uh, rendition of the Nutcracker, and I had been studying this 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 play <laughs> for for literally months on end, and it was around Christmas time. My whole family was going to be there. My grandmother, Teresa, me, mom, my mom's side, you know, Jane, Pop Pop, everybody was going to be there. I think we got a weather segment coming up. Well, go, are we, no, go, go for it. And then when we get to the weather, we'll no, like kind of. No, it seems like the yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it seems like the weather. <laughs> How we doing? We're in the middle of an emotional story right now, so hey. let's just get to the weather and get past this. Okay. We don't have time for all the okay. fucking what? bits and gags. Just get through it, all right? We're, we're, uh, the weather's phenomenal. It looks good. The weather looks good. We couldn't really see outside. It's nighttime. Do you want to maybe talk gotta, the forecast next upcoming yeah, day got, so we can plan tomorrow? I got a tomorrow. message for an Ethan Klein of the H3 oh, podcast. Whoa, oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Shut this down. Oh, no more, no. It's just jokes. It's just jokes. I feel like it's Trisha. Just, it's just messing what around. What did I do? Come on, We're guy. We're just messing around. We're just fucking around. Okay, We're well, put the <laughs> weapon down. Put the weapon down. Hell, you don't have to be so scared. He's a funny guy. We're funny guys. I see what you're saying. I, I get what you're doing yeah, here no, with the whole 100%. cigar thing. Like we're, we're mobsters, all right? It's just a Big joke. Joe Rogan fans over it's here. It's just a character. Yeah, Big crazy Joe times we're living <laughs> in. Uh, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Put the toy prop gun down. Put it. Okay, we're having we're having a serious talk down here. Uh, I guess we got what we need for the weather. For shoot, I got... I got suits and cigarettes and fedoras for everybody. You gotta agree next year. We're not. Year. Th- we're leaving that part of our life behind us. I need to stop hanging out with these types of people. I'm in a different place in life. Please don't bring them in here. Don't. Did we? Did we end up getting the weather? Um, I think it was in there somewhere. Okay. Oh, f- oh, come, on. Just, come on, <laughs> pause the Come on, bro. What type of appropriation scandal am I going to have for these things? I don't even know. Italian, Italian, Italian American. American. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing an Italian appropriation bit right here it's yeah. okay mike and i get the pass right yeah like you italian to an extent yeah all right let's get back okay. into some other stuff <laughs> i'm not putting on the props because i'm scared i'm going to appropriate a culture it's but. fine we're, i don't even know why we're doing it i, I think we got a little character well hold on a episode. sec also are you guys Fucking going into this whole everything? murder shit because i can't be a part of it either no, no, murder? no, no. Just we're just joking all around with, you know. if you're murdering i can't do it i'm a fucking felon allegedly dude. We're just oh joking God. around. Yeah, I'm down. Legend. Tana, for context, last week. You told week, me you want like H3 dead and you called oh, me. Oh, no. Whatever. So one of my friends went over there and, and like just filmed the house and then Ethan got all scared and texted me a bunch of stuff. And I like how me. you just basically said instead of putting out a hit on him that you had one of your friends go there and film it. I didn't hey, have him go there. He chose to do it. He got made fun of and it was yeah. his own decision to go and do it. And okay. I, you know, I, I stopped him after Ethan had asked. I told him back off. Why don't you call Ethan? I don't even Ethan. know who these goons are. Why don't you call Ethan into the show right now? I, he, I don't think he wants to come anywhere around me anymore. I need a disclaimer. I don't want any, any part of this. Remember I earlier laugh. before I the podcast what he was saying to you? I got nothing. Oh, Remember yeah. what he was saying to you I before the podcast? Said. He said, I got to stay neutral when it comes to you and David. I got to stay neutral. I can't believe you fucking said that to me in front of my team. All these guys know <laughs> it's me 
and my team, and you go down to the death, Toby, you take a fucking blood oath. Where do you think I stand? You stay in a hotel real Where soon. do you think I stand, Jeff? <laughs> you're on my side, baby. That's you're my fucking number That's one. That's a joke. <laughs> you're my number one. I can count on you for everything. You'll never fucking get me in trouble. You never see. I would never snitch. Right? I mean, exactly. I think David's cool. Like, beside, like, the whole, like, thing that's going that's on. That's the word <laughs> we were waiting for. Wow. You should have just left I'm just kidding. so close. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't expect everybody else to get involved in our problems. No, it's deeper than that. You. There's a lot of stuff that, that is, like, if we ever get not married, talked about. And who knows? You know, I, I don't want to make this podcast Daddy, about that. yes. Oh, my God. Fuck that. my asshole. <laughs> Did you say that on a video publicly? I'm sure I've said that. Where did they grab, where did it they grab sounded that? like a sarcastic tone. Oh, no, I don't. What I don't the know. fuck was that shit? <laughs> like you hadn't played the um, whole thing before. Hey, we'll work it out on if our we, own time. If we get I don't married, expect you to take sides. If we get married and I walked on the aisle, my vows will be like, man, fuck him. Like I'll be, I'll be oh, all the for way real. There. Yeah, like I'll, you know what I'm mean? loving this guy. Seriously, ready, Jeff? I love you. I You're saw you get married, married once. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> so I actually was like literally like right in the first year I saw you get married and the pastor at the wedding got a fist fight. That did happen. I think second time's the charm for me really when it comes to weddings and clout trimonies. You know, I think it's like second time will really hit, you know? Wow. And now I as a 37 year old man asks this question, <laughs> yeah. who still does the dumbest shit and is so corny. But like right. at what age do you stop you think you'll stop saying things like clout trimony on God or like I think never. It's, a, it's, a, it's like your well, brand. No, it's not my. It's I, I mean, I people have said this to me before. Jake Paul actually coined this term about me that I'm just walking Twitter, like the way I talk. <laughs> like it's it always is just like new. What I, I just I love the I love the hyped phrases. They become a part of me. I think they're funny. I think I'm a part of that generation. Unfortunately, you're that Tana, is, you're a sweetheart. Honestly, yeah. I, I don't know if like <laughs> people really know that. Like you're very well, yeah, you're very you're well liked. You're yeah, both, you are like in the community like, because honestly, I was talking about this earlier. It's like you know. Jeff decides at least sometimes what to respond to directionally because of how people on the internet decide this and that yeah. and how they react. Let's that shit control. You want to know what I oh. I like to consider? <laughs> I like to consider the the opinions of my colleagues, my, my the people in the industry, and yeah. I've never gotten anything but ex intense amounts of love from everyone that I consider to be a, a, a complimentary in the industry. That's you know sweet. What I'm All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash. Have you got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of? What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered right to your door. I love DoorDash because you know me, I'm a busy guy. I'm always on the go. DoorDash makes my life very convenient. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, or Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy and your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose the contactless delivery option. It's great, I love it. Uh, for a limited time, our listeners will get 25% off and zero delivery fees on the first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JEFFFM. That's 25% off and a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store. Enter code JEFFFM. Sorry, can I say something? Where did you learn business? <laughs> He's at, like, at because in the streets of Vegas no, as a hooker, I no. just don't really get how you <laughs> no, learn that. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> what, in what world? Jeff, back me up on this. In what no. world is... No, listen. Jeff, back me up Are you going to come on this show yeah. drinking a White Claw promoting Dizzy? <laughs> like, you come on here and you drink a fucking... That's like I me styling my hair with Old Spice. Literally, dude. It's like, dude, like, are you... Ma but no, like you're... Logan coming on here with a Gatorade and just being like, so here's the deal with Prime, man. You're not I'm wrong. really just trying to get this company off the ground, just chugging. Well, well, so oh, we can not. CGI. I, I got good VFX guys. And they, can, they, can, they can cover. I didn't bring a dizzy. I don't know. First of all, the first drop is sold out right now. So you know, I'm just I'm drinking something else. Think about all the mentions like you just gave dizzy. I, Maybe I, that was I respect you. That up. was purposeful. I was drinking the white claw. Like so you'd be inquisitive about where the dizzy. Duh! I wanted the viewer to wonder where the dizzy is. I don't fucking know, man. Obviously, it's not all I drink. Right, right, right. I respect you no, not forcing it down is, people's throats. This is also why Prime is in like 500,000 WalMarts and Dizzy's like yeah. fighting for a 7-Eleven on La Brea. Well, you know what I mean? Like, like I've been. A, I've been a part of that 
little psychopath Logan Paul. So many, so many beautiful projects I've watched that kid yeah. put together, and one of the glo- most glorious storytellers and entrepreneurs of this space. But Logan's this perfect. one I love is Logan well Manny. perfect. Mm. But this one though is is special. It's I mean, be- special. between him and KSI promoting it, and like. I mean, dude, people can't get enough of it. The drink is incredible. It's the person so good. that built the company is incredible. Uh, so dizzy. I love that the enemy partnered. <laughs> I love that whole thing. I wish I had an enemy to partner with on the, on the hair products, but my enemy, unfortunately, <laughs> is losing his hair. <laughs> so it wouldn't be a good look, you know? I need somebody with, here. Uh, yeah, a good, with hair? solid hair. And it's tough to find. I'm you like know? low-key bald. You want to use me, Jeff? I'll partner with you on hair products. <laughs> I have no hair. At all. <laughs> I don't want to go there with you, Mike. But no, you're... it's it's no, actually, it's, it's not horrible. But it's no, like, but chilling. we're not enemies. You're chilling. You know, it's, well, now it's, it's that whole aspect of like, what the hat. fuck were they dropping? I love that. I love how they executed that. That was really cool, and it's a pro- it's a quality product too. Oh, uh, so the product is incredible. The yeah, but enough incredible. about sucking off your fucking best friend here. You know, you're here. You're here to replace Jason National. You're gonna get a lot of hate <laughs> for that because everyone loves Jason. Well, they're, they're like in say, the same oh, age bracket. Mike on that. No, oh, why? You're why you're you're in. First of all, I guys, just, Mike is a temporary replacement. He's so busy with so many things. He's not going to be fully replacing Jason. I'm working. I'm trying to buy. You Jason won't even out. come on my I'm, podcast. I'm trying to. Yeah. I am coming on. I am coming on your podcast. I for, before I go any further with this with that point, I do want to say, you have one of the most edu- well educated and creative audiences, Jeff. That I that I've ever seen. I, these guys, the comments, the stuff in the commentary section, you can Talk literally about clout chasing. No, listen to me. You He's can, going after them now. No, you yeah. can glean. You can just about glean the the the, the IQ from the yeah, audience. Oh, yeah, remarks. Yeah. Hey guys, I love you too. You're so smart. Yeah, you, get, you're, you, have, you have well educated fans though that Come like get your sense of humor. Them. To curate a fan base like that is is hard. But that's you what I'm what getting. I, mean? I am slightly fucking around, obviously. But but to make it them love me. Okay. But uh, but they are they're great. They yeah. make great fucking edits, dude. The edits are incredible, and, and everything they write is great. But Shabbat. yeah, I don't. I'm, I won't be able to be a full time member. I wish I could though. I've been hunting, and I think it's a part of the show now. Is I just constantly hunt for my co-host. Which, I could. Let me do. What? I'll be your plan B. I'll co-host. I figured it. it out as I was saying it. Yeah, you want me to co-host with you? Oh my god, Tana, I'm pretty available. Are you, but are you, Daddy? You are too busy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I would co-host with you. <laughs> you. I would co-host with you. No way. People love that. I our, swear to God. The barbershop episode, it was the best one I've done in the past year. People love our, our it's dynamic. Our chemistry. He would say it was the best one he's ever done, but unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yours was like two I years have, ago, I just bro. have a little more hair to work with. Fuck. <laughs> Yours was a while ago. Just kidding. Yeah. I'm actually literally hey, bald. by the way, by the way. I'm literally more bald I, than you. I, I, listen. Promise. Make the jokes while you can, because soon no. enough, when My I hair? get back from Istanbul... This motherfucker gonna have the flow of a young baby Jesus. Turkish so king. Oh boy, am I not right away? Because there's In no Turkey? like rush. But I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna look like like Fabio. Remember Fabio? Oh the yeah, the guy with the crazy yeah. hair he goes and the abs. I see him at the gym. Actually, yeah. What? What are you gonna say? Why don't you just go to Zane's doctor, like down the street? <laughs> we'll be, I, uh, you do like tag. To, no, but I'd like to see a Istanbul. I'd like to go to Turkey. Can we get to a, a question? We we have a fan submission questions. Yeah, Danny, you have tons you. of fans out there. We share a lot of mutual ones now because yeah. of, of our past collaborations, our past relationship, and our yeah. The yeah. time How we you guys around, for? five we minutes, a couple times. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but we have a lot of really good submissions, so we'd like to get yes. to those. Did you write that tweet on the Jeff of M Twitter today? Uh, the first one was about me being a beautiful entrepreneur. I did write that one. The first one where they called. You're a clout chasing whatever. I was clout like, yo, Kyle, hunker. bro, what the fuck? We can't disrespect the guests before they come on the show. Uh, Jeff, that's at least kind of your after. MO. No, no, I'm not going to put... He put clout chaser in bold capital letters, and I'm like, bro, she's going to walk from Jeff, the show. You did that. Gonna, a, you I would did never that walk from that. No, 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 no. I don't no, even no, really no. take clout chaser as Kyle, an insult. Why do you keep throwing my name out there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Kyle, why the fuck would you call me? Because Kyle runs It's like a Kyle weird typo. I don't, I, don't like, yeah, 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 I, don't know, I don't know that I look at that as a dis, uh, denigrating. A I mean, what I do for a living is ch- my income is directly correlated with chasing clout. Yeah. So I think that if it means that I'm good at chasing clout, that means I'm good at what I do. Okay, yeah, then I wrote that one. Jake said that because we had me and him had that whole thing back in the yeah. day about the cloud chaser thing, and he came on and he explained it very well. He said, "Dude, like, in all honesty, I'm like, chasing the bag. In the if bag that's of the industry. We're in the industry of cloud. Oh, I like that. We just 
turn clout chaser from a derogatory oh, term yeah. to a positive one. Seriously. You're a well, business. If you're, well, you're, if you're in the industry. You're a hustler. If you're in the industry, if you're if you're a girl, if you're a girl in the club and you're a clout chaser, not so great. But yeah, like, I get it. There's for us, a... it's like, dude, like, yeah, like I'm gonna fucking collaborate my way into <laughs> like a, into a ten million, million us, twenty like million the, dollars. The biggest you know male and Absolutely. female clout chasers in the biz. <laughs> For us, we just I'm, made it in the clout chase. Luckily, hey, luckily, I beg you two to come I'm, here and be on my show, so I'm a clout chaser too. I'm stop. in that. Luckily, I was, clout, cleared, I was cleared by Chase Mr. Beast clout. on the clout chasing thing. He he historically cleared me. He got more <laughs> clout than anybody, so nobody's gonna fucking say otherwise. Yeah. He said on impulsive, Mike doesn't return my phone calls. If he was a real clout chaser, he would he would return my fucking phone <laughs> calls. What are you fucking dissing Mr. Beast for? We want to be on good terms with him. If anything, I think he just you. He was saying well, like, he what might not be. Yeah, yeah. You gotta answer his I think calls. he just needs- No, I should answer his fucking calls. Maybe I'd finally make some Mr. Beast money. Yeah. You never know. All right, Mike, uh, don't you have some Hollywood big exclusive parties to get to or something yeah. like that? I don't want to keep you here. I know you said you were going to do five minutes. If you could make me your plus one, please. You're Tana. Me, Cloud Chasing. We you always end up at this. Oh, nice. No, we no. always end up at this. Uh, I'll be there for your next burger review on the night shift. I love you having me on there. They're tons of fun. Why don't I ever get a burger review spot? That could be fun you for me. You had that, uh, oh. Oh, was that a We Disney? did a hot dog. Uh, you had a hot dog eating contest. Yeah, but first. that was just like obviously amazing. Just it was giving softcore porn on YouTube. I, know. I want you to pretend like you care about my opinion. Do you want to come do a burger review? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so when I get back from uh, these trips, let's do canceled and burger. Yes. Review. After your slew okay. of bitches well, in yeah, Columbus. Bring me along for that one. I know I'm obligated to do ten. Because you of the eight, contract. Uh, eight more. <laughs> eight more <laughs> left. Eight more. So. That's All right. Hot. Hey, listen. I just want to say, dude, la- really quickly, your audience. Very well educated. Enough Vic- sucking them off. Okay. We get it. They love stay you cute, back. Stay cute. Stay gorgeous. Stay monogamous. Stay thanks for doing this, Mike. iconic. Stop, stay stop impulsive. Stop All right. Today's episode is also sponsored by Avast. You guys got viruses on your computer? I guarantee you do, unless you got Avast One. Avast is the global leader in cybersecurity for more than 30 years and trusted by over 435 million users. Avast empowers you with digital safety and privacy, no matter who you are, where you're are or how you connect. Enjoy the opportunities that come with being connected on your own terms. Thanks to Avast for sponsoring Jeff FM. Avast new all-in-one solution. Avast One helps you take control of your safety and privacy online through a range of features. Avast firewall protection prevents attacks trying to access your computer or steal your data. There's no, nothing I hate worse than people trying to steal my data. A vast ransomware protection keeps your photos, personal documents, and other files from being changed or deleted. I got people trying to hack into my hard drives and terabytes of footage that I got over here. It would be detrimental to this company if I lost my data, if somebody got a hold of it. So that's why I use a vast one and I can sleep safely at night with both eyes closed. Avast prevents 1.5 billion attacks every month with Avast One. You can confidently take control of your online world without worrying about viruses, phishing attacks, ransomware, hacking attempts, and other cyber crimes. Learn more about Avast at avast.com. All right, back on with the episode. I'm sorry about all these goons. Like this it. is what I wanted to get, just you and I alone. Hi, baby. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? You were worried about Nerf out there. He's looking old. I really want to talk to you about that. So, I mean, first of all, I think it's beautiful. You've had this dog for 15 years. He's been with me through it all. The life expectancy of a French bulldog is approximately like 10 years, He's right? far surpassed it. He's doubled yeah. it. He's almost. like you. The, he's... Lo- the life expectancy is eight for a French bulldog, and Nerf really? is 15 and a half, so he's nearly doubled it. It's Which insane. Is, he's like you. He fights through all the trials and tribulations just like his dad. God, it's beautiful. Yeah, and I just give him it's... regular old dog food from CVS. I don't yeah. like baby him, you know. Yeah, no, I could, I could see you like that as a parent as well. Just you're very hard on, you know. You you're also like said hard. you should probably put him down. Well, here's the thing. I, Which... I think that your friends, you know, I, I heard that some of them, you know, they want to fuck me. So I think that when I say something, they're like, like, yeah, Jeff, she said you should kill your dog, you know, because they're trying to ruin our chances yeah. so that we can. Oh, so that was so that, a lie. It's not what I said. It was more so that it's like. I'm a little worried about what do we think of his quality of life? I sat on him and he peed, or he sat on me and he peed. Oh, he peed on you? Almost. So I that's moved. why. Okay, well then I get why and you said he you wanted. And when he walked, to... when he walked, no, no, not out of anger, out of love. 
is what I, what I'm feeling. When yeah. he walks, I'm worried about the back paws. I, I don't know, know his, his back legs are, are going out. It's I don't want to put him in a wheelchair though, or like diapers or anything like that, because that's really like that. This happens in life. It's gonna yeah. happen to our parents, our grandparents. You know, yeah. you got to deal with stuff like that. That's yeah. just life, you know. And I don't want to go get a new dog, and then he sees that new dog, and he feels like he's getting pushed out. No, I just want to let him ride it out. Who yes. knows? I might die first. Yeah, not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't make plans too yeah. far ahead in the future because you never know. You got a lot happen. of hits out on you. You could be gone tomorrow. You'd be dead in jail. You know, yeah. he sat through months while he was home with a new person watching him while I was away in really? summer camp. Yeah. Summer camp. <laughs> yeah, he knows the deal. He, know, he knows when it's time. Daddy, he might Daddy. enjoy it better. He might have more fun. <laughs> Daddy's going to summer camp. Yeah, wasn't there that picture <laughs> where he got uh, booked too? Oh, yeah, yeah. He got locked up himself, too. No, but that wasn't real. That was oh. just for a bit. But like yeah, father, he, like son. I, yeah. t- I was just saying, though, if he, you know, God forbid, if he goes to the, the dog park upstairs, uh, <laughs> yeah. I would love to get you a new puppy, but they said you don't want one. Imagine, um, I don't know at the moment. Imagine I didn't want him. Yard. I didn't want Nerf at first. He Why? was my neighbor's dog. My neighbor got arrested, so I just ended up <laughs> watching him for like a month, and then I figured the guy would get out, but then he ended up getting sentenced for two years. Do you know anyone who hasn't gone to prison? I have a lot. Of, I, I don't I know. Guess I guess I... Maybe that's the only reason you like me. You're like, this bitch hasn't gone to prison. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you have. I've been arrested, never never jail. So you just spent the night? Barely that, yeah. That counts. Yeah. I don't know. I just guess. I guess I just relate to people, you know, yeah. that have been through a little trials and trauma in life yeah. and know how to deal with it i agree with that i was just thinking about our story arc if we got a dog though and it's like i really want to get us a dog you know have you had a dog at all um let me guess you got a dog and you gave <laughs> it away after a month i was gonna make the joke but i felt like it would be better if i set you up for it and you did good. that um no i've never i've never like really like i had a dog and then like my assistant like ended up just saying i was traveling everywhere and like it was my assistant's dog as is and then like, yeah I, she was you know after years I, I was letting her go and like it was a better fit i like to just date people with dogs yeah and then like it's like my dog for that so you just pop in pet them yeah it's stepmom vibes i'm your mom yeah that's cool that's cool too i'm your mommy now that's the vibe (laughs) sound like that that was a good one (laughs) um so we have a bunch of questions that fans sent in we got a lot of mutual fans you and i i think we both knew that but then we kind of started to clout farm the internet and then we almost no in the beginning i was scared because i was like tan is fucking dangerous and you are so much more dangerous than me you're literally kanye on twitter right now (laughs) i was going nuts yeah i was having fun because i was in pain and that's how i was coping with my pain you saw like i'm sorry (laughs) every time i get to like surgery points i get super anxious and i get super like stressed out not only if like uh, is my eye gonna get cut out and it's like something's gonna go wrong just there's a lot that goes into it you know you're Jeff, I, to go I love under. you all jokes aside i love you i like i worry about you when that happens i always I try to call you i gotta and talk give to people you. my phone when i'm doing that stuff because like shit comes out but i was honest about everything well i can't imagine the emotional roller coaster it's your eye I, I should say something know? though to make this point right i did say on that last podcast i don't know if you watched it where i talked a lot about david it was the insurance company they gave me to that didn't pay the bill and got the infraction. I don't oh, I doubt think even David knew didn't. about it, but like the way it came out, I just sh- fucking said everything. Yeah. And I feel like he doesn't even see his like Postmate receipts, but I mean, maybe like, yeah, he so should. whatever. I was, I was, uh, you know, still in a dark place and I was just fucking venting because it makes me feel good. If somebody hurt me, it makes me feel better to make fun of them back. Well, I love you and I'm here for you and if you have to cope through humor however you want to cope, I think it's all valid because it's something that most people never have to go through and I love you. Like, actually, I just, you well, know. Wow, that's so sweet that you I understand you that okay. and you get that. But I that's cope how with I cope everything. Like I'm a maniac. Oh, no, I cope with absolutely everything through humor or a good joke or a good yeah. roast or so I, I get it and if I was going through that, like, I don't, how manic I would be mm-hmm. if I I was going through that is awful. Yeah, I would be I would be in a straight jacket. That's why I was like, like oh, now you're cutting my jokes from this set and it's yeah, this man. guy's involved and it's this and yeah. like so many moving parts that just like I don't know what's going on just yeah. fucking take me out of it. I yeah. want to do my own shit and just go my own route. Oh, I mean, yeah, I can imagine all the emotion you have behind being censored at this point in your life where you're finally just talking about the things that and being able to make light of things that have been very traumatic. You know, I was even just like, oh, you cut my jokes. Like, I was a little sad about like my, you know, so I yeah. can imagine when it's like to you, it's like your release. You know what I mean? For like the way that you feel. Yeah. Like for Especially your trauma. Roast where like you, your jokes are supposed to be. Yeah. 
I dark get it. and edgy and make and you're also a perfectionist like you care shocked. so much about like I, i've seen that just with working with you after everything we shoot jeff's first thing is like how did that go like were you were you happy were you comfortable was this you know do you think it was did good yeah. like that type of stuff so like i could see it thank you for that i appreciate i that. validate you yeah. that's my point but here. it's just censorship and that's what we need to deal with in this day and age and i know people don't really get like oh why is he yeah. so mad about this it's a roast i was mad because it's like everything i say in my videos <laughs> i've even been dealing with censorships we got billboards going up all over town this week even for my own company and for I jeff's had, barbershop uh, yeah and i had to <gasps> stop where is it they had to censor my you know what your middle there. finger yeah like but it's penis. kind of funny. No, I didn't put my penis okay. in the billboard. I am very excited to see that. Where is it going up at? They'll be right down the street, right next to the uh, agent who fired me from Old Spice. That's in front hot. Of his house. That's hot. Was that no, a purposeful? Eh. <laughs> you know, I would do the same thing. I'm very the same thing. like resentful. I hold grudges. Wow. I got a problem with that. But I'm like that. I'm really bad. I'm really bad about that. Like yeah. I, I will hold a grudge for a while, or I just once I just hate you, I hate you. It's I'm bad about that. I, yeah. And I've I've grown from that. I used to be really awful for sure. Well, good. Fuck yeah. it. If that's how you got to yeah. get your fucking fun out of it, then it's the longer you live in Hollywood, it's interesting too. Like we were talking about this the other day. The enemy list just slowly starts <laughs> oh, racking yeah. up. Like yeah. by year five, you're like, damn, I hate half of you, motherfuckers. Yeah, and now <laughs> I'm going to war with like huge brands and like ex sponsors and like are you good do you think that do you think this is a manic spiral or do no you think i don't it's think it's a manic spiral of course i've had moments where i had ch like take a step back and be like am yeah. i being I'm manic spiral. am i spiraling am i am i I'm like spiral. embarrassing myself when i tell you i've burned enough bridges in the city i'm finally on i'm trying to be on a higher road but it's it's hard who do you still got beef with out there i guess my number one people know this obviously is james charles we are you ever planning to resolve that no he seems like a guy that's got a problem that's not going to be fixed. I think, yeah, and I think, honestly, I have, like, I, I don't really care to fix it. I, for a while, I wasn't as close as I was for years with Shane Dawson, and the other night we had a really good conversation, and that made me happy. I felt like a lot of things were cleared up, and I was just overthinking everything and yeah. felt good. And, you know, I'm, I can resolve things for sure. I, I like doing that if it's resolvable. Sometimes people just do things that are too far, you know? So you guys are cool now, you and Shane? Yeah. He's going to make another documentary? I, he, honestly, I hope he does. He made good documentaries. I mean, I think that I would be, like, under the 405 in a tent if he didn't make a documentary after Tanacon for me. Oh, so he kind of resurrected your... He, he definitely, and, like, gave me, like, a platform to kind of vindicate myself and explain the situation further. Because yeah. obviously we all know a Tana Mojo apology video is always going to be shit. So I needed did someone you to... Did you make an apology video? For sure. Oh. I was, okay. like, I'm still, Tanacom was awful. Like, actually, just, like, when I think about everything I've ever done, it was just, how like, old are the you? worst decision I've ever made. Um, I think, how, I don't know, 18, 19? 18? Trying to do something it, like that? It, the idea was there. It was just the, it was the people that I was doing it with that were just, I think it, they it should put the blame more on that guy riding around in that one wheel thing. The, the segue. The segue. Yeah, because he was, like, I the agree. older one. Yeah, I the mean. The brains behind it. He just used your name and face. But I guess you live and you learn, you know, like, I just should have yeah. been more. Now I would, like things like that made me now very like aware of everything you know what i mean like now i would never work on the smallest project if i'm not aware of every last moving part of it but i think at that time i had a lot more trust yeah just more being the naivety of it all everything happens for a reason you know i that's guess what life's about you make those mistakes when you're 18 that's what that's the time to make them yeah even how old are you again? 20s, i'm 19 <laughs> no really you're 20 i'm still making mistakes as you no, i think i think yeah. Okay, but I've always said this, Jeff. You you don't look thirty two, and that's all that matters. You're Thank very you. hot. You're Thank very you. hot and gorgeous, and you're just fine. I mean, it's funny Shout though, out just, Dr. Todd. We have moments <laughs> where Jeff and I are like flirting with each other, and we're talking on like the same level. But then he'll hit me with a like, "When I was your age." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm looking for that fucking thirty two year old. Like, who were we talking about before? <sighs> Alexa Demi. Okay, yeah, but with not her, not with her attitude. You don't know her. <laughs> I don't know what Alexa she Demi might, did to you. She might, uh, I don't know. Her boyfriend I don't know. could beat you up, too. Get the fuck out of here, Kyle. Now you cross <laughs> the line. Have you seen like, what Like, what did like? Alexa What's Demi do What's her boyfriend look you? like? Kyle, you think this guy will fuck me up? Maybe. Shit. Yeah. See? <laughs> don't you see Tana? Look how nice she looks there, It's in a good couple. I wouldn't how, even try to interfere and break it up. Look Wait, how nice she looks This is who you think. Click on the next slide, Oscar. Look at their arm. I'll snap it in half. Oh, they're so cute. This is her, man's. 
Okay, that guy looks like he's got some. They're wholesome. Some they just look very skills. wholesome. Yo, she does MMA training, Sydney Sweeney. No, I really? wouldn't want to break up any yeah. of these relationships. That's fine. She also works on old cars. Like she's very, she has like cool niche interests. She has Damn. a whole TikTok towards. A lot of cute couples there. No, I wouldn't touch. Love her. that for them. I'm trying to co-host this podcast. I would love. Where to do I you. apply? I honestly, this entire experiment has been <laughs> this, experiment? this has been an experiment since episode one what are we at now 15 40 40 well, this is 40 no uh, next episode's 40 39 so we've done 39 of these so like i was saying I, I yeah this has all been a big experiment for me to find somebody that i can film with because i had jonah and jonah yeah. left and then steven steven's always like you know you think you're the common denominator here I don't know what it is. I'm actually just joking. I don't. Do I not give Jason Nash energy? Do I not give like <laughs> new ghost laugh, energy? Laugh. He laughs at everything I say. He even does. If it's not funny. Jason but is so sweet. Off, I could say the dumbest shit in the world, and Jason Nash will laugh. He's like, "You're so <laughs> funny." Like, it's so sweet. It's very sweet. I'll work on that. Ready? Say something. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's going on? And uh, this with this guy Putin, huh? <laughs> 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 there you go that's how he does it and then yeah. he goes into <laughs> nah, I'll do that I got you if that's all I need to be a co-host just big yes man energy I got you what's going on with this guy Putin over yeah. there you believe this crap he's pulling <laughs> now they're they, you see our defenses we're like now nah, you can't get Batman you like Wait, we're gonna re, we were gonna release Batman in theaters it's not a, a, available in Russia all of your cell phone companies are down you're, you're like we're pulling like releases and stuff as like now, all right, you want to fucking go here? What are you worried? You don't want to get political? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather us just have have Putin just shoot a no, missile it, right at us? It's just so easy for me to. It's just so easy for me to talk about <laughs> anything other than that. Fuck uh, war, so, man. Let, let, I know, fuck war, <laughs> and I and and I'm all for like Ukraine. I fucking I'm praying for you. I just you know because they're getting invaded by a giant country with a gangster of a fucking president that will okay. just fucking kill and kill and kill to get his way. And he's already committed six war crimes. Yeah, so he's crossing the line and, and the world's supposed to have like a world order. We all agree on these things. Like, uh, I don't know if you know about NATO and then there's like the United Nations where we all decide we can't just all let our nuclear bombs go off because then the whole planet blows up and we're all dead. Is this what you do like at the club with a bitch? Like that's how I feel right now. I'm like, I just like, want to yeah. know your opinion on Putin. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Ukraine or Russia? <laughs> <laughs> it's not <laughs> bad of you. Here's the thing. Um, I tweeted about this yesterday. I think I barely know the seven continents. I, can I tell you? Can I tell you what a, every Kardashian ate for breakfast today? Absolutely. There's certain things I know and certain things I don't know. And I think it's important, obviously, to use my platform to be an activist for what is right and spread the word. Okay. However, change subjects if you're coming. Here. Someone said this a while ago during some. Um, some movement online it was some TikTok. it was huge it got like five million views and it was like if you were going to tana mojo for political advice like that's where you went wrong like i don't know why you're then it's I, i'm i'm a fucking idiot i'm that's not how I do saying this podcast. that off camera i wouldn't have a conversation with you back and forth to educate myself and to give you my opinions and further that but to put that out into the world yeah scares me because it's okay like, I don't, let's talk do kardashians <laughs> who do you think should have the kids wait, wait before do you think you'd um, ever run for president? I think I've tried, honestly. I, <laughs> I think you got to be 35. Uh, I am secretly. It's like a whole scandal we just talked about. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, yeah, <laughs> I would, but manically. And I okay, get, like, let's talk. Votes, let's talk know? Kardashians. Who deserves know. the kids? Kanye or Kim? Kim. Uh, Shared custody, even. Shared what custody is, is always beneficial to Wait, the are child. Are you team Kanye or team Skeet? Team Skeet. That's okay. right. All right. That, no problem. I right. don't know. You I don't think... have to agree on everything. Are you Team Kanye? Uh, I just feel bad. He got his family broken up, and he got his family broken up. You think that's something that just happened to him? You don't think still, that his they were actions? They still married, and like you know, now if he never gets to see his kids again, like I, don't I think know, he'll be able to see his. kids. I don't know if you watched the documentary on Kanye's life, but he was so close with his mother growing up. Yes, Miss Donda. Yeah, and his his parents were divorced so he never yeah. knew his dad because his 100%. mom kept him away from his dad i don't think that kim kardashian morally would ever keep the kids away i think he'll always be in their lives do i think that a lot of the reasoning for the divorce but through the tabloids through but, like yeah kanye I mean, obviously, fucking said this bad shit crazy stuff taken out of context a, he's just a little turbulent you know there's certain things he said that i don't know. think are amazing for his children to mm -hmm. have heard you know even just back to before their divorce when he was like doing the live shows like we almost aborted north what are you saying <laughs> oh, what? He yeah, really yeah, said yeah, that. yeah well well he well, was like, he was campaign. almost aborted himself 
by his father. <laughs> so he said that, and then on top of that, he said, we almost aborted Northwest. And yeah, I, I get you know, it. He says he has I think no Kim, filter. I think Kim is a little less volatile, and that's maybe more beneficial for the kids. However, I do th- I do hope they can come to a joint custody. Yeah. I don't know. I think his emotional nature. I hope so. I hope they, they are but able to both see their kids. Reconcile. and mm-hmm. I, I, think that, I think that they will. I think he's in a place where he's not accepting the I divorce, mean, imagine, though. Imagine you and I started dating right now. Yeah. And then we got in a fight after when we went outside with your friends and we told them and they were like, no, don't date him. He's fucking bad for you. <laughs> and then you leave and you take Nerf. And I'm like, what the fuck? We just started <laughs> We just started dating an hour ago. Yeah. And now you're taking but my morally, son. But morally, I would, you know, I would make sure that. Nerf. Well, that's, it's, you Nerf know, I wouldn't a take Nerf over there? right now. No, no. I think that Nerf should always see his father for his last four days of life. <laughs> <laughs> because the clock's ticking. <laughs> well, you are richer, so then uh, he would have a better home know. over there. You have a, ba- you have a backyard? I do. Oof. You, yeah. for, you would win in court because all would. we have is a balcony over here. But I don't know, man. I don't know whose mental illness would, you know. Yeah. Are you mentally ill? I'm sure. Okay. I'm pretty mentally. I have crippling ADHD, but I mean, it could be way worse, right? You handle it well. Do you want to see Dr. Amen? Popping pop it out at all. I've seen Dr. Amen. I actually was meaning to talk to you about that. For real? I yeah. love talking about Dr. Amen. I love that, man. Dr. Layman. He's... Dr. Layman telling me to take my vitamins your he fish said, oil, you. your they fish was, oil in the morning. He was shitting on weed and all this shit. Yeah, telling me I can't yeah. smoke weed, bro. He's I've been, been smoking weed and I've been coming up with funnier jokes than ever. He he's a very straight edge, but he's great. He put me on fish oil in the morning, magnesium at night, a bunch of little stuff for my brain. He like he was the first person to really diagnose me with like crippling ADHD and do all that shit. I love him. Did you do a video series with him? Not really. I was shooting a show, so like I shot some of it for the show, and then I shot a documentary actually with um, my life coach at the time and him, and we still have that footage, and we were debating on what to do with that. Keep it for know. life. For Bank life, on it and, and put it out in like thirty years. It, it's cool. I like. There was a point in life where I was just so <clears throat> down bad. I, I hired a life coach, and he was Justin Bieber's life coach. It's the only reason that drew me in, the believer in me, the pop culture in me. <laughs> Same. And he, I saw that picture with him and Biebs walking all cool. That paparazzi. Doctor Amen or Buzz? Uh, Doctor Amen. Yeah. So I I had a life coach named Buzz who brought me to Doctor Amen, but he was Justin's life coach. Oh, okay. As well, but then Doctor Amen as well, like that. It was all the stuff he'd done for yeah. people. It was it was just so cool to me. I also like love psychology and brain shit so it was fun to like kind of look at why things are the way they are how did it, how do you know that they showed you your brain huh? and they didn't show you just a random other girl's I don't. brain I, th- that was definitely some questions that i had you know but yeah. i don't know it, the, the things they told me were pretty on brand for yeah. me so i don't yeah. know did you have that question or was your brain just so, i took out a, a saw was there like a chunk missing and you were like that's definitely mine i took out a sawzall and i said i want you to cut my skull open and i want to see if that's my brain that's that you're showing me on that yeah. paper and there was a yoga video on dr amen that was like um he was showing me pictures <laughs> of my brain that looked like a weather forecast or something like that just calling him phony and stuff i i, I, I don't want to trash dr amen no, 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 i no, love yeah. him no. I know we're getting a little carried away. It was a joke in the beginning, but no, he... I love that man. His response to the scans are, you know, like, you can believe it or not, but they're clinically proven, and he had, like, a whole bunch of scientific answers that I don't remember, but I was like, all right, I'm done with this fucking bit. Have you read his book? That was what I first did. You read his book? Yeah, because I was like, I don't know if I'm... If this... I'm about all this mumbo-jumbo. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. I take his vitamins. I, I do everything that he told me to take care of my brain. I spend, like... Four hours a day at Next Health doing uh, hyperbaric chamber and all that really? stuff. Yeah, IVs and like yeah. I do a- NAD drips idea. and all that stuff. Like I, I'm on. What's an it, NAD drip? Who knows? <laughs> I, I fucking just do whatever and it's expensive too and I just pay so for expensive. it. But like it's health stuff. You can't get cheap on yeah. your health. We're so healthy, Jeff. God. Yeah, so you <laughs> rip that fucking thing. My USB port. Take a rip and let's get into some questions yeah. fan submit video <coughs> question and i just wanted to know if la is overrated or underrated because she's so pretty I feel like i've heard so many things lately saying that it's very overrated and how everyone wants to leave so i thought i would ask since you guys are down there she she's looks beautiful. like an nft like, she, she's beautiful yeah wow queen I, I couldn't um, even hear a question. I know. I think I was like, those lashes too. I was staring. LA. That's It's such a conversation that everyone has. You know, it's LA over here. We're in the, I feel like we're in the era where everyone is kind of moving away. They're like, Puerto Rico, man, let's go. Miami, let's yeah, go. Yeah, there's kind of no need to be, be here anymore. That's true. I mean, I don't know. I do a lot here. I like it. Obviously, like, socialistically, socially, I don't know. It, it's 
it's one of the worst cities for that type of stuff. People are very vapid here. But at the same time, it's not like we're here because it's like beautiful. It's We're here for business. I don't know if I'll be here forever. Yeah. But I can see myself at like 27 in Nebraska vibing. Mm. But how are you going to get podcast guests out? I guess everything's through Zoom in the future. Well, hopefully by then I'm just fucking Metaverse. like retired. Yeah, you don't like podcast? I, I feel like I'll podcast forever. Really? Forever? Yeah. Um, I do really like podcasting. I'm just in a situation right now where it's, you know, I'm with a company and it's a, it's at a set and it's not on like my own terms the way you have this. You know, if it was like in my house and it was just like a small little team and I was like releasing it and it was like a vibe like that, mm-hmm. I would definitely podcast forever. Right now it's more of like a, a work thing, but I love it. I've always loved so long let's form merge. content. Let's merge. Drop your whole crew. Let's have all the fucking bathroom boys run it. I'm waiting to be a Jeff FM host. So I mean, I'll Honestly, see if I... Honestly, it's, it's, it's a done deal. If you've really want to it's a done deal i'll see if i get the call back after this guy put a twitter poll i mean yeah it's not, i mean I, I don't need a poll i'm in i'm down to have it this is I'm like down. we're like the new pam and tommy that's you know? i was just gonna make that joke daddy um no but Let's i put out this motherfucking sex tape i like our dynamic i would definitely keep beautiful i would definitely do it with you it'd be fun It'd be fun. And wow. I like that you do everything kind of on your own terms like this. I, if I'll get to that point. Yeah. I totally would podcast alone from Nebraska, though. Fuck a guest. I'll, I'll move to Nebraska. Let's go, babe. Kyle and Oscar will move to Nebraska. That's pretty hot. Yeah, we'll, we'll gather our yes men. <laughs> and then we'll move to <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> yeah, Siobhan told me in the car today, my friend from Staten Island. Because mm. I, I, I just had this uh, gnarly eye surgery. And I was asking him, like, how's it look? And he's like, you're fine, bro. If you never told me, it looked like nothing happened. I agree. And I was like, you fucking yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's fucked up. And there's literally blood in my eyeball no. right now as we speak. I, when I'm looking at you like this, it looks fine. When I get up close to you and I like see the blood in like your iris, like I get a little sad. <laughs> but, oh, yeah? But I don't, it, it's not the aesthetics of it. I think you look fine. It's more so just I'll just be like, oh, Jeffy, this. They're thing. aligned? Yeah. Pretty aligned. <laughs> not, all, not all faces are hitting 100% symmetry. Come on. You Thanks. Know? Uh, yeah, I appreciate your I honesty. You're, That's you're the beautiful. fucking real shit that I want, you know? I think you're beautiful. I think, And Thank I think you. it adds character. Thank you. You know, you could just be a pretty face, but now yeah. you're like a... But no, this last one wasn't cosmetic. It was it was purely for vision. Yeah. And like I needed How is it because a plate was cracked underneath my eye. Do you feel like your vision out. is better now? Uh, it's still like very tender and beaten on from the surgery so it'll yeah. it'll probably take like uh, a couple weeks but if you, you know when you're having fun when you're doing stuff like going to the fight this weekend i'm not going to be sitting there thinking about healing like no, i have for living. the past week you're, you're getting to live which is a good thing yeah i'll like, be out there ringside i'll forget about all the fucking things that. that are going on inside my brain and head and i and i'll just be watching other people beat in their fucking their eyes faces, yeah with, if anything yeah Seriously. hopefully no orbital smash yeah you can be like a Ugh. ringside coach for that too there was a guy that happened. smashed his orbital in a fight and it was so gnarly his eyeball oh. hang hung down because i watched that and it's so weird like normally back in the day I, I would be like holy shit that's so weird fucking i never want to see that yeah but now i i empathize yeah. with that guy so i i found who, out who he was and i dm'd him and like, i was hey, like man you know, i can't see either i was like bro i smashed my orbital a year and a half ago and like trust me everything's gonna be fine it's gonna take a while get some surgeries but watch bisping's documentary listen to through the wire i gave him some pointers he was so grateful and it's just so cool like would you ever pull like a mike malak and write a book about it i don't maybe i'd write like a movie i don't know i I, i'm like a traditional like i want to get back into making projects that are like scripted or like make a show like i would love a jeff euphoria or like a but i feel that that is like your passion yeah yeah, i always wanted to act and then i got into this stuff and this is taking over and i was selling drugs like i was in a movie and then really i needed to just make a movie is what i needed to do yeah but i'll I'll take all those life experiences and put them into something like that no we're multi oh that's so sad oh look at see how the eyeball like straight up fell down Fuck. That's so sad. Bro, I saw that and I fucking cringed and I was like, God damn, this poor guy. Yeah, I saved this because this is the show's kind of like where you broke your. Yeah, so I mean, you had the same like uh, break. This I guy? had a worse break than him, and his but eye like, was hanging out. Pretty like s- so similar. Fun. But his like broke and fell down. Uh, I don't know. I had Fuck. a full orbital. All those but, bones in there smashed. He's a tough guy. I'm sure he'll get through it. But yeah. it, it it is a shock when it first happens. So if anything, if I could help people like that, then that's what 
you know, it's and all maybe about. and maybe that was your life's journey to be there for the the, the I MMA fight, the, the optometry <laughs> community, and I love that. I love that story arc for you. Yeah, I'm just gonna spend all my fucking money on sunglasses and yeah. just. I know. A, I like the glasses. You walk in, that's the first thing you see in Jeff's apartment. It's like fifty pairs collection. of sunglasses and yeah. a Jake Paul signed boxing glove, which I think you know, oh, like, move out shit. of the doorway, but. Uh, you know, Why are you guys not on good terms? It was, you know, you and Jake? It, was, it was just a joke. We actually, yeah, we're we're cool. It is odd that I have that Jake Paul boxing glove directly well, when you walk you. in. Yeah, he did send it to me, but it's right next to Mike Tyson signed boxing glove. The greats, Poor all the greats. Seriously, you need a glass case for his though, you know, to take it as seriously. Uh, I know it was a nice gift. You look mad cute right now. Thank you, Jake. It's like a peace offering when he sent it because we had beef a little oh, bit. Oh, did you? And now been there. And I respect them. Do you want another question? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> the video questions are spunky. Hey guys, this question's for Tana. Uh. Where do you get off? Oh, <laughs> I knew this guy was gonna have something. Steve. Oh, Steve's not here. Steve's not even here. Oh, good thing Steve's not here to hear that, man. Where do you get off? What's this guy's problem? I think I loved it. Is he your new enemy? Jeff told me today that. I was coming on, or like two days ago. You told me I was specifically coming on so we can make a list of new enemies to fight. Yeah. With. Is he your first contender? No, I don't give a fuck about this guy. Yeah. This guy with his hoodie on and his Talk glasses in girl, his mother's crazy. basement. I don't care what he says. He's Kinda just looks another like you hater. With the hoodie and glasses. I know he does resemble me a little bit. I sent this video in from upstairs. The video questions are crazy. Hi, Jeff and Tana. My name is Bianca. I'm from Canada. Um, I had a question for both of you guys. So I was actually in the middle of watching an old episode of the Scott Cast podcast. And Jeff, you talk about Swedish Fish a lot. So I wanted to know if that was still the addiction or is there a new one? And I thought this question would be appropriate for Tana as well. Because we all know that Tana is obsessed with Jeff. So, Tana, <laughs> is Jeff still the obsession? We all oh, know. man. Thank you. That's so upsetting. That That's that, like a public thing. Like, I'm obsessed with you. No, I think she's just goofing around. I uh, my th- Maybe I need to work on that. Maybe I need to, like, scoop back or something. Seriously. Um, Swedish fish, she said. That's a thing. Swedish yeah. fish. I like Swedish fish. They're cool. I think it's a better obsession than, like, drug she, I think she's and... asking if, like, we hung out at night and I dipped out to go have a few Swedish fish. If that's ever been I the case. I could see you doing that. Yeah, but is that last time we were canoodling, vibing? <laughs> you did leave. You did leave potentially early, so maybe it was for a Swedish. Fish. We never spent. We never spent. That that's night my together. point. Did you were you leaving for Swedish fish? Maybe that's where I yeah. went. I had to go get my fix. That's just the code name for his like other home, but you know. No, I don't get. I don't have no hose. Yeah, oh, speaking of, hose? but you did spend the night with my uh, neighbor here. <laughs> He's a funny guy. I didn't know he was so funny. <laughs> Can we put a picture of him? In my most recent uh, vlog, I was talking about that. I was like, I I hung out with Jeff's neighbor. He's going to kill me. <laughs> no, Jeff's no. going to be so upset. I was just scared. That I was, was like, bro, bit. she's going to be here. She's going to be at his house. And then no. one night she's just going to run over to mine and be like, you know what? Fuck no, him. You're not plan B, babe. You're not. You know, I'm, I love Look at you. that. Yeah. See, What's he's the... fucking, he's beefy. Yeah, he's he... great. He's handsome great. face i just called him i was like i'm at your apartment complex hey we should bring him over yeah it's, whole, so, whole it's so funny how he looks sire. like he could be scott's brother they're yeah, i know i know we should have our own yeah. dating contest for your heart right now no you know what i don't want to interfere because there might be real sparks going between you two he we're friends he's a reality star and he's oh, really funny we're great we friends say this isn't scott I know. That is Scott. He's just too sweet for me, Jeff. I think that's he the problem. He is a fucking sweet kid. As much as I love the innocent vibes, it's it doesn't like hit well. It doesn't mesh as well with me. You're gonna crush him. He's gonna <laughs> turn into like an his, evil villain. Yeah, like I don't wanna I don't wanna be his village villain, villain He's not origin gonna be sweet story. No more after he hears this. Yeah, and I don't want to be his villain origin story. I want to be, you know, in a great place forever. And he's very sweet. And what if he busts through this wall right now with all that fucking juice he's on? It's like the Kool Aid <laughs> Man. <laughs> the Kool Aid Man, Brent. No, <clears throat> what the fuck do you say about me, Tana? Yeah, I don't know. He's he's a sweetheart. Very nice guy. This is gonna be interesting if we do this every week together. We're both looking for love in the wrong places. You're looking we in the wrong places. I think I'm looking in the the best places really okay Here that's also Jeff gonna FM. get in the way if we constantly attack each other sexually <laughs> you know i agree 
So well, should we should we tame it down? Should we fuck it out? Get that post not clarity? Let the audience decide. We'll read the comments and yeah. we'll let them know if yeah. like, hey, we'll you know. That's right. how I try to live, right? Like you know, up the sexual uh, <laughs> attraction and yeah, um, we'll up the flirting, out. or no. should we just get down to what is to going business. on in the European war that we are facing? <laughs> should we get into politics? What do you guys want to hear? Decide for us, seriously. I can give Jason Ash or I can give, you know, your future oh, ex-wife. Uh, and that's whatever you need from me. That's I can, perfect. I can give, seriously. If I could marry Jason, yeah. I would. And looking at you right now, I Couldn't. I see some Jason in you. I, Physically or I mentally? I could get the best of both worlds, yeah. <laughs> well, Jeff, you know, I you know, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. We'll stay close. Yeah. We'll, we'll refine our enemy list after this. We'll date if you guys want that. Or I'll give Jason Nash if you guys want that. <laughs> See you in the next episode of Jeff FM where I'm the host. To be I love you so much. I love you too. Drugs, got himself a barber's chair. A part of the show where you cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. I've never heard the theme song. Jeff FM. Jeff FM.